Hi, I'm the Space Case, and we haven't done a mental health and makeup moment in a while. It is opening day for football season. I have been a New York Jets fan since 2003, so although I'm proceeding with cautious optimism, I'm actually very excited about um, what this year can bring. So I wanted to do some Jets-inspired makeup. And also, because I have hazel eyes, the forest green actually brings them out really nicely. So we're going to give it a go. Come along for the ride. So I'm just going to prime a little bit first. Oh, that's a lot. A lot of people are actually surprised by how much football knowledge I have, which does really well for me when I go to Super Bowl parties and stuff because people don't actually expect me to win their money. I just kind of do. I actually got into football. I was kind of an athlete as a child, but not like a good one, just kind of mediocre. And I played a lot of sports, but I wasn't really great at any of them. But I fell in love with rugby in high school, which kind of led me to football because I rugby wasn't televised at the time. It is more now because of the Olympics and rugby sevens got pretty popular. There is rugby on TV, but the closest thing to rugby that I could watch was football. So I fell in love with the New York Jets. It was like, it was a game that they lost too. I think they were playing Pittsburgh, but I really liked the tenacity that they showed. And then I also liked the forest green and I liked that they were from New York, but that they weren't the Bills because everybody around here kind of loves the Bills and I like to be different like that. So I picked the Jets and I've stuck with them since. It's been um, rough to say the least, but we've had some good years in there. I should like put like a setting powder on it. I'm not going to though. So I'm going to take a forest green and just do like a crease color. So I got into rugby and then one of the rugby coaches was like, hey, you can hit pretty hard. Would you like to try wrestling? Because he was the wrestling coach as well. And so I gave it a go and I was actually pretty good. And I really enjoyed it, but I got injured and I blew out my knee and I couldn't get it fixed for a couple years and I was like 17 so they didn't really want to do surgery but by the time I did end up getting surgery when I was 20 my whole ACL was gone and needed a full reconstruction. I would have been able to return to sports but because I wasn't that great of an athlete anyway I didn't know that I wanted to take that risk because it had been such a long process of, of trying to get that leg fixed and the pain that I went through. And I knew that it was, it was very likely that I was going to have to need surgery again. So I just didn't return to competitive sports. But I kind of regret that because I didn't rehab my leg very well either. And I'm kind of paying for it now because I'm in probably better shape than I've been in in a long time. I would really love to return to like rec volleyball or something like that. But I just don't know if I can handle it with the pivot. In the absence of being able to play sports, I discovered football pools, which led me into fantasy football. And now I'm a big fan, even as a kid. I mean, I'm sure anybody who's a sports fan is guilty of it, but I used to be big into basketball because around here that was like Vinsanity era with Vince Carter. And I used to just scream at the TV all of the moves that I would make. And I loved fantasy football because it gave you the opportunity to be a GM. And I don't even think I actually attempted fantasy football until I started watching the league like I knew a lot of guys that did it 
and I knew I knew football, but I didn't think I knew football that well. So I did pools for a couple years before I graduated into fantasy, but I found it's made me appreciate the game a lot more, especially because the Jets have largely struggled since I've been a fan. It gave me more enjoyment and more purpose to watch other games and get to know other players. And now there's other teams that I enjoy. There's a lot of other players that I like to watch. Uh, One of my favorites being Nick Chubb from the Cleveland Browns. He, I picked him up as a rookie in my fantasy league and I have not let him I have not let him go at all. I love him so much. Um, and I actually got to see him score a touchdown. I saw the Cleveland Browns play the Kansas City Chiefs in Cleveland a couple years ago, which was really fun. My mom and I went after an Elton John concert. But I found that this whole pretending I'm a GM thing is actually a great coping mechanism because I struggled for a long time with my leg and the things that I was uh, able to do and like the limitations that I had I was also 19 and walking with a cane and then people are looking at me like you're too young to have a cane and they didn't understand that I was in like literal physical pain and that my leg would give out good tune I really uh, I really missed sports and I really miss being able to compete and being in like a pool allows you to compete but being in in a fantasy league makes you feel like you're able to compete as the team and I think that's the act the part that I really missed about being an athlete oh my gosh I have the perfect song for this hair Bjork is such an oddball. Like, and... I never understood her, but like, I appreciate that she just does whatever the fuck that she wants. I appreciate it. And now, as an adult, when I'm listening to this song, it just seems so theatrical, which is also something that I appreciate more as an adult. So yeah, football has become my, um, it's sort of a coping mechanism, but I don't do it too much. Like I do one pool and I do one fantasy league, but I like it. And it gives me something to look forward to and trash talk about. And it comes drafted Dak Prescott. And now I could make my team name, Be Me Up Prescotti. And I feel like this is so on brand for me and tunes for a boost. The Jets are white, forest green, but then they also have the other green and black. But all of that is too dark right now. Or with the white. So speaking of football, what would be your entrance song if you were entering a stadium? But I think it would either be... Catch Em By Surprise by Diplo and Tiesto and Busta Rhymes. Or it would be Venus Flytrap by Marina and the Diamonds. I don't know. There's so many good ones, though. I know that when I was a wrestler, one of my pump-up songs was a song called Bone Cracker by Showcore. And that was what I really used to get pumped up. But fun fact, song number two was fight for your right to party which is clearly one of travis kelsey's pump pump up songs too so i don't know would you go for something more that gets you pumped up or that would get a crowd pumped up it's hard to say but now that jay-z's taken over music programming for the nfl like the music is great and even what they put on when they're transitioning to commercial breaks is so good like i heard was it closer by nine inch nails great tune you don't expect to hear that on like prime time though oh speaking of fantasy football i just got a notification that i have an inactive player in my lineup my guess is it's cooper cup who i kept because we're in a keeper league and he just got placed on injured reserve and now won't be playing for four weeks and i'll have to try to find some of the new that are up and coming stars on the waiver wire
gonna take this sparkly white, just top off the excess. Oh, this is such a good tune. I love this. And okay, so if you're a Jets fan, how do you think they're gonna do this year? Because like, I'm really excited that Aaron Rodgers is there now. And I think him and I would get along for obvious reasons. I'm excited, but I also have flashbacks of the last time we had a uh, Green Bay quarterback after Green Bay. And we kind of missed the playoffs after everybody was like, we're going to win the Super Bowl. Mind you, our team is much more stacked this time around. And like Aaron Rodgers definitely looks like he's got the juice to do it. And I think he's happier where he is. That's something super important for all of us to remember is to like really do things and go places that make you happy because he was going to retire and he wasn't a fan of the situation that he was in and it's also a testament to leadership I mean nothing against Zach Wilson but it was clear that he is early on into his leadership journey and some of that comes with experience, like Aaron Rodgers is a veteran. I just see how that team has come to life in so many aspects since Rodgers has joined. And I, again, I think it says something about leadership. I like uh, head coach Robert Sala too. I really did like Todd Bowles. I mean, no one compares to Herm Edwards, but... I think that we've got a uh, good coaching staff now. Nathaniel Hackett, though, like seriously. Ugh. But yeah, I think we've got the right people in the right positions. And that makes such a world of, of difference when you're trying to move things ahead. I am going to do a liner with dry eyeshadow and a little bit of water. Because... Oh, that might be a better wing than I did last time. <laughs> Hold on. It's wet. Because we also learned last time that I tend to ruin my makeup before I'm done it. Oh my god, I think I did it. Oh my god, who doesn't love Weezer? The Weezer Blue album is one of my top 10 favorite albums of all time. Okay, well I think that's as good as that's going to get. I'm not talking about the palettes that I'm using because both creators are canceled right now, but the colors are still good. It doesn't mean I necessarily support that anything that they do now, but it doesn't mean I'm going to stop using the stuff that I already purchased, especially when I had to spend a significant amount of money to get it. And honestly, at least one of the palettes, the product is really, really good. Good. But I will make the disclaimer that I think that cancel culture is ruining comedy. And some of that I think is that we just forget to laugh at ourselves. I think we take life too seriously sometimes and forget to just sit and have fun. It's like a jet screen color. And thanks to the drag queens, I know that micellar water is the best to remove makeup for the most part or like make correction it's definitely the most cost effective way to do it see see what i mean with the green and the hazel i'm just gonna go back with that same white i used as a highlight color i didn't fuck up the whole thing did i again i don't do like falsies or anything Thanks for joining me today. I hope that if you like football, that your team wins but today. Not if they're up against the Jets or any of the players on my fantasy team. And again, let me know what your walkout song would be. What would you run out the tunnel to if you were an NFL player? So I hope you enjoyed today. Stay tuned for more episodes of mental health and whether it be makeup or crafts. And of course, check out the Mental Health and Podcast now back up and running in a new format. We also have the TFB shop and you can follow at Tunes for Boost on all platforms. So happy football Sunday. And until then, keep the peace and keep rocking on.